test I know I'm in a mess And my dog ate all my homework last night Riding low on my chair She won't know that I'm there If I can hand it in tomorrow It'll be alright It's alright Cause I'm saved by the bell It's alright Cause I'm saved by the bell Good morning, Pirates, and welcome to our final episode of CHS TV. I'm Maria, and today we have a special video today. We will have all the people who have ever hosted on the show today. Wow, that sounds amazing. We also have segments such as This or That, Ask the Staff, and Bloops, I Did It Again. But before we continue, I'd like to take a minute to say that Haley, one of our wonderful hosts, unfortunately couldn't make it today. So let's take a moment of silence for Haley. Now let's head to the announcements. Hey guys, it's us, Alex and Jared, and we are here with some announcements. Sentiments in DECA is happy to announce the appointment of six DECA members to the 2022-2023 Executive Board. President Stephanie Renoff, Vice President of School-Based Enterprise, Kaylee Solomon, Vice President of Marketing, Caitlin Camerata, Vice President of Finance, Jordan Traichner, Vice President of Hospitality, James Smith, Vice President of Career Development, Olivia Moyer. Congratulations to those people. But before we move on to the principal's message, let me ride the waves first. There he goes. <laughs> well, Jared gets lost at sea. Let's move on to the principal's message. Hello, Pirates. I would like to start this week by recognizing our 2022 CHS Hall of Fame nominees. These students have recognized themselves as outstanding members of CHS community and nomination for the Hall of Fame is an honor in and of itself. Those students who were recognized as nominees for the 2022 CHS Hall of Fame are Miana Alessandroni, Jenna Avril, Yaren Eichert, Micaiah Blayman, Veronica Campbell, Grace Kohler, Grayson Cooney, Queen Teja Cooper, Juliana De Caesar, Connor Dini, Nicholas DeLeo, Emma Fiegel, Mary Gallagher, Sarah Guerriere, Gina Marie Height, Ryan Hoban, Croy Horsley, Vivian Jang, Sean Kennedy, Colin Kenville, Colin Kind, Samuel Koch, Zoe Malave, Francesca Martelli, Claudio Mashantonio, John McLean, Alessandro Mangelli, Taylor Marescu, Allison Neidert, Lucy Nelson, Whitney Wynn, Rosemary O'Brien, Hannah Ortiz Strauss, Brianna Petrella, Grace Ringer, Rylan Waros, Peyton Stavalone, Natalie Stein, Kelly Teague, Juliana Wall, Nathan Wyke, and Carly Yeager. From this already incredibly impressive list, 12 students were selected to be inducted into the CHS Hall of Fame. It is my distinct honor to announce the 2022 CHS Hall of Fame inductees, Grace Kohler, Juliana De Caesar, Veronica Campbell, Jenna Avril, Micaiah Blayman, Whitney Wen, Brianna Petrella, Nathan Wyke, Claudia Mashantonio, Peyton Stavalone, Sean Kennedy, and John McLean. Please join me in congratulating these exceptional individuals. They, um, they are outstanding representatives of what it means to be a CHS pirate, and I am immensely proud of their accomplishments. The video of our award presentations will be available on our website. Please take a moment to check out the wonderful presentations. As we continue to celebrate members of the CHS community, I am thrilled to recognize our May Golden Apple recipient and current Rock, Paper, Scissor Grand Champion, Mr. Hart. Each month, we recognize one staff member to be our Golden Apple recipient. Faculty and staff who receive the Golden Apple have distinguished themselves for going above and beyond for the students of Cinemason High School. 
For those who may not have met Mr. Hart, although I must admit I find that hard to believe, he is a math teacher here at CHS. He is an exceptional teacher, a talented coach, an invaluable asset to CHS, and one of my very favorite people. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Hart on this well-deserved award. If you would like to recommend a staff member for the Golden Apple, please complete the nomination form located in the front lobby across from the display cases. I would also like to take a moment to congratulate Alex Boyko, who recently won the NJEA New Jersey Hall of Fame Essay Contest. Alex Essay, nominating U.S. Representative Mary Teresa Norton, was noted for its creativity and impassioned support of Representative Norton's inclusion into the Hall of Fame. Because of Alex's essay, Representative Norton will now be considered for induction by the Hall of Fame Selection Committee. This will be my final message before the end of the year. I want to take this opportunity to thank you, students and staff alike, for your talent, dedication, and cooperation as we have continued to navigate the impact of COVID-19. It has not been without challenge or sacrifice, but each and every person here is a vital part of our success, and I really do truly appreciate all of your efforts. I wish each of you a successful end to the year and an incredible summer. Have a wonderful day, and for the last time this year, please enjoy the rest of the show. Each week, we ask the staff a different question. This week we asked, what is something that you hated as a child but went to love as an adult? Let's see what they had to say. Um, I, I find as I got older, I've expanded the foods that I eat. So like I would never in a million years would have eaten like Chinese food other than an egg roll. And here I am ordering like different things. So I definitely think my tastes have grown as I've gotten older. Vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> I want to say vegetables, especially now since I'm trying to only eat vegetables. Brussels sprouts. Vegetables. Tomatoes. Couldn't eat them as a child. I like them now. Ooh, probably uh, shellfish. Didn't like those at all as a kid, but uh, I love them now. Seafood. I would say if we're talking if we're talking food, I would say uh, any kind of fish. So like I didn't like any kind of fish when I was a kid, and now um, yeah, like salmon and lobster and crab. I guess those are more like crust crustaceans or whatever. But yeah, I would go with fish, any kind of seafood. Uh, seafood like lobster, crab legs. Yeah, not as a kid, but definitely as an adult, big fan. Cheese. I did not like cheese at all as a child. Um, but now, bring it on. Like it. Cooked onions. I hated onions when I was a kid, but I like cooked onions now as an adult. Sauerkraut. Silence, right? Um, when you're a kid, you don't like it when things are quiet. You want noise, you want stuff going on. In fact, in college, my roommate would get mad at me because I'd leave the TV on all hours of the day and night. Um, but now as I get older, I find like I need silence to be reflective, uh, to take time to meditate, to be in the moment, to be aware of my surroundings. And uh, I've found as, as, as I get older, I have learned to appreciate silence more than, and I have two very talkative kids, so I'm like very pro-silence when I can be. Uh, strangely, chores like I hated cleaning and such when I was a little kid and being told what to clean but now I like it's therapeutic I don't mind cleaning at all it makes me feel good uh, reading actually reading reading <laughs> math math my brother Naps. Uh, something I hated as a child but learned to love uh, as an adult is, is boredom and just sort of doing nothing sometimes. Hold on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, turns out Jared got lost at sea again. Oh well, that's his problem. We can deal with that later. Yeah, he can wait. Whoops, I did it again. I messed up my lies. 
I'm sorry once Can we start over? Oh, that was really bad. Can, can we start over? Trace, toes, uh, I'm sorry. Each week, one staff member will give us three clues on who they are. <laughs> Next up is an important public service announcement. But before that, we need to address the horse in the room. What? I was not ready for that one. It looks like that's all I have. Uh, uh, everything's going together. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Tune in next week where me make Mr. Wilson disappear. Like this. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> that was too late. Tune in next week where me make... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But before that, we need to address the horse in the room. Mr. Wilson's. Sorry. And tune in next week when we make Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Why does that always happen? ATC will be sponsoring a field trip for their Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Warm and Wednesday. Sure. Warm and sure. I when can't wait. Wednesday. Wednesday. Fair enough. Now we will go right back. What the heck? You guys just left me out there. Hey, don't blame me, man. It would be nice to try and call me at least. Shh. You're wasting my time. Let's move on to this or that. Did you just blow the illusion? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? to a party full of people you don't know. Would you make new friends and hang out or leave? Make new friends and hang out. Make new friends, conversate, socialize. Why? I don't know. I just, I like to meet new people, get some new friends. Yeah, I need new people. <laughs> make new friends. Make new friends. Why make new friends? Never have enough friends. Yeah, same. <laughs> Opinions on this or that? I'd like the mystery teacher better. Uh, I like this or that. Make new friends and hang out. Why? Uh, that's how you make new friends. True. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, the rip, I'm leaving. Why are you leaving? Because I'm not that, I'm a, um, what is it called? I'm an extrovert, right? I'm an no. extrovert. <laughs> it's an introvert. <laughs> you know what I meant though, I'm an introvert. Would you rather, rather have a full schedule or no schedule? No schedule. But why though? Make plans as you go on. I like that, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, I like that. No schedule. Why? I like to chill more than I'm rushed. I like being rushed. Oh, full schedule. Uh, full, schedule. Yeah, full, schedule. full schedule. Full schedule. Full schedule. Bro, I'm not trying to be bored all day. Yeah, I hate not having anything to do. I, I, I'm not a homebody. No schedule. Why? I'm old and lazy. <laughs> Same. <laughs> no schedule. Full schedule. No schedule. No schedule. Why did you choose full schedule? You he said two, are you going to crush him? Because he's the worst. What? <laughs> basketball or baseball? What? I don't even know why you asked him that. <laughs> bro, that's, that's my sport, bro. That's our sport. Again, because we like that. That's Keep it a bean hole. Basketball. Why? It's better. You got a reason? No. Okay. Basketball. Baseball is way too boring. Yo, facts. Who is sitting through nine innings? Nine innings. Not I. Basketball. Basketball. Baseball's not a sport. Oh, really? <laughs> I, all the all the baseball fans are really mad at you right now. I don't care. Oh, you don't care? Okay. I take that back. 
Yeah, people are going to be running after you now. Base baseball is a sport, but basketball is like... Okay, that, that's okay. Cool. That's okay. Uh, I just enjoy playing basketball more. Baseball's too slow. Baseball's boring. Baseball is really slow and boring, and ba uh, basketball is more like intense. Basketball or baseball? Baseball. Why? Because I play baseball. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, it was. Looks like that's the end of whatever this was. It sure was. I'm really gonna miss this. You know we have next year, right? It's not like we won't see each other again. Yeah, and to all the seniors, have a fair journey to college and to life. But that's all for this week. If you have any questions or suggestions, email Mr. Wilson at wilsons at cinnamonson.com. Tune in next week where we make Mr. Wilson. Um, Alex, we don't have next week, remember? Oh. Right. Well, tune in next year where we make Mr. Wilson have a good summer. Wow, that was surprisingly nice to Mr. Wilson. Yeah. Yay! Yay. I feel like maybe we missed a few shows along the way. Shush! And treat like the rest of us. Woohoo. Yay! Goodbye Bye. and have a great That's summer! That's everybody. That's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes! Yeah.